just using uh, Adobe uh, CC or Creative Cloud as it's called and uh, there's quite a few new features but to be honest not as many new features that uh, I would have hoped with uh, CC but uh, anyway one of the ones I'm just going to quickly go through at this point is the tool over here the rectangle tool as well as the rounded rectangle tool and ellipse tool now they're now currently called live shapes for some weird reason and i don't know maybe this is an oversight or maybe that's going to be something for a future version hopefully of cc2 cc3 or whatever it's going to be called and polygon tool line tool and custom shapes don't have the same live shape features but uh, right i'm just going to go to the rectangle tool I'm just going to quickly draw a rectangle shape and you have to use this obviously this shape option over here and well you could do as before in CS6 you could actually use the fill and stroke over here but now in the property section you've got a live shape properties appears and you can actually set the actual sides the corners you can actually set those though I've noticed a few errors and I don't know why but sometimes for some weird reason that one there doesn't always seem to drag properly it doesn't appear you can keep trying it doesn't seem to put a value in you can then just go over here and you can type a value in maybe it's just me but uh, it does seem to have a also when you mix different paths it seems to have the same sort of error it seems not to be able to enter it there but you can actually enter it in this field over here don't know anyway that's just maybe me right you can of course now set all the various settings here in properties so I'm just going to give it a quick uh, red stroke so so it's done that and I say that's the basic core new changes you've got this live shape properties hopefully like I say that'll be a feature that's going to be extended in the next version quite useful uh, it's quite nice so I'm just going to go to the circle uh, I'm just going to draw a circle and that again is a live shape and again you can just actually move the path which is quite good change the width very quick and easy all live without actually having to she edit the actual path there so i'll just move it down again and you also again put a stroke on the thing as well as other settings here with different strokes like that right once you've actually done that Another thing that's quite useful is a new addition is you can actually now, once you've done that, you can actually subtract from here as well and extrude, etc. So I'm just extrude, exclude, exclude, not extrude, not talking about uh, 3D design. So uh, just going to do that and it will actually quickly subtract that area from there. It's useful in combination with uh, multiple shapes as well. So you can just do that. So I'm just going to quickly create another shape. So there's another shape, and I can do that again. And just click that, and you will again see the actual subtracted area. And of course, because it's a live shape, you can actually move this across. And I'm just going to just drag that across, just like that, just before. And you can actually still see the shape underneath. So there's the additional shape as well, which also, of course, is set to subtract. So quite useful uh, combination though i must admit i wish it was actually implemented slightly better and obviously with the custom shapes it'd be even greater of course it'd be lovely to have uh, uh, the uh, corners feature in uh, custom shapes as well but i'm so i'm not going to be waiting for that but uh, in illustrator you can of course do uh, use various plugins like from astute software uh, that you can uh, do uh, corners modify them very quick and easy and it'd be lovely to see that in photoshop